Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about GPL plateau fracture imaging. Definition, fracture of plateau due to axial loading plus minor rotational injury plus minus vagus inclination. The same as giving us about the classification of tibial plateau fracture by classification. Tibial plateau divided into six types. Type one is a split fracture of the lateral plateau without substantial depression. Tie 2 is a split depressed lateral plateau fracture. Tie 3 is a depressed lateral plateau fracture with no split component. Tie 4 is a any major plateau fracture, fracture line and the imminent does not count as a lateral involvement. Tie 5 is a B condylar fracture with intact metaphysial diaphysial region and number uh, tie six is a an or union condylar or B condylar fractures with a transverse fractures separating the metaphysis from the diaphysis. Presentation. Most common signs symptom the effusion, pain, inability to be awake following trauma. Demographic age. Older patient related to osteoporosis. Sex. Older patient predominant female more than male related to osteoporosis. Younger patient, male more than female, related to high energy sport injury. Epidemiology, about 1% of fracture. Etiology, trauma with axial loading, load plus minus bending force, or persisting or vagus sports, motor vehicle accident, auto visits, Bad strain, a pet strain, bumper or vendor fracture, etiology in 25%. Associated abnormality, lateral part of fracture, vagus force, leading into disruption of anterior cruzate and major collateral ligament. Major flood of fracture, high energy, so many, so may also result in disruption of lateral plateau, possibly cruciate ligament, possibly lateral corner structure, lateral collateral ligament, obliterated artery area. Meniscus tear in 2 to 47 percent of plateau fracture in different studies. Sharka, four to six times more commonly in associated dislocation, subluxation, leading more likely soft tissue injury associated. Morphology, most tibial part of fracture in lower of pattern, split component of fracture describe fracture line extend from articular surface to machine of metaphysial cortex. Depressed component is displaced below level of remainder of the articular surface. Origin description required for millimeter displaced for the designation of depressed. My radiography. The differential analysis can be 
divided into two fascia. Fascia one, extra articular fracture of both femur and tibia. Fascia two, at least one intraarticular component. 2a, femoral shaft fracture, intraarticular tibia fracture. Fascia 3, fascia 2b, intraarticular femoral fracture, tibia shaft fracture. Fascia 2c, intraarticular femoral and tibia fracture. Best diagnostic clue for fat fluid level in supra patellar recess, oblique or vertical line, linear fracture line on radiograph, sclerotic horizontal line below level of cortex of either lateral or major tibial plateau. Size, variety vary from trapecular injury to small non-displaced fracture to commuted and depressed fracture. By morphology, younger patient vertical split fracture, older osteoporotic patient depressed fracture with variable extension. Location, tibia plateau with variable extension majorly or laterally may involve tibial eminent. More so severe plateau fracture also has transfer metaphysial fracture. Search for associated proximal fibula fracture. Radiograph finding lipohematrosis visible on cross table lateral view can be useful. A helpful clue for subtle non displaced fracture. Fat free lines. Lipohematrosis not visible on lateral view if obtained by rotating supine knee externally on table. Lateral view of knee in trauma should be possible lateral view. If lipohematrosis is only finding after knee trauma, perform CT or MRI for radiographically ugo fracture. Oblique radiograph may improve detection. The fragment may be evident as horizontal sclerotic line below level of cortex without loosened fracture line. Sclerotic line is cortex of depressed fragment. So this is the AP radiograph in a 41 years old woman. So a linear density within the lateral plateau indicating a fracture. There was no lipohematrosis on the lateral view. A period you grab in a 64 years old woman, so clear disruption of the lateral plateau with a split fracture. Cyan solid arrow indicated this could be a pure split shaka one or split debris fracture two. CT is necessary for further assessment. Cross table lateral radiograph so a clear fat fluid level cyan solid arrow indicated within the supra patellar recess indicating an intra articular fracture. The remainder of the radiograph so only subtle articular cortex irregularity without the finite fracture. Lateral standing radiograph so a lipohematosis, cyan solid arrow initiative, is in this patient 
with a tibial plateau fracture over a value 8 for fat free level even on a rough uh, upright view as a clue to presence of intra-articular fraction. A radiograph saw a commutated displaced and displaced tibial plateau fracture. A, P, a radiograph saw a plateau fracture involved both the major and larger size with the mark overall splaying or fragment. fragment. There is complete disruption of the wedge bearing column or board with suppression of the diaphysis from the metaphysis making this a Sharka type 6 fracture. Lateral radiograph so how subtal lateral tibia part of fracture may be. The impact part of fracture is seen as a linear sclerosis impacted into plateau. This is only also finding no fracture line seen. CT finding assist in diagnosis of a radiographical focal fracture confirm anatomic relationship of fracture fragment in complex case. Surgical planning for either elevation ever of depressed fragment or for shallotide or to six fracture, helpful in detection of the proximal tibial fracture. Coral bone CT, so a uh, sucker Taiwan tibial plateau fracture, the split ladder plateau without the press as the articular surface is in high energy fracture when it's occur in young person. Note the impacts got the on fragment which within the split fracture which must be removed in order to obtain anatomical reduction. The CT so a mildly displaced and displaced lateral tibial part of fracture indicating structure type 3 fracture. This fracture can be subtle radiograph and miss initially. The CT so four millimeters the depression of the more media fragment in addition of the split component of the fracture confirming this as a sacrifice to to achieve a suitable reduction of the articular surface the depressed fragment must be elevated from below it say tell so three to four millimeter press of one bone fragment of the fragment depression is measured as the lowest tip of an articular surface relative to the intact portion. The CT saw a lateral split fracture, the lateral tibial plateau with a maximum of three millimeter of depressed along the other core surface.
the CT saw the tibia plateau fracture with fracture gap and depression along the articular surface shutter fall, shutter fall. The articular surface gap and maximum depression should be recorded. The CT saw vertical split fracture of major and lateral tibial condyle impacted fragment and a more distal transfer tibial major fissure fracture. This combination is a sucker high six injury, not the spraying of the plateau fragment. Soft tissue injury was severe. How am I finding? T1, wait, excellent for evaluation of the line propagation, low signal intensity fracture line, low signal intensity of surrounding edema. Low signal intensity cortical bone depression depressed into central cancellous bone. High signal fat in lipohematosis may have associated meniscus tear. PD intermediate FS evaluate for associated internal derangement meniscus. Ligament, cartilage, and short Fluid sensitive sequence, low signal intensity fracture line with surrounding high signal edema. Fracture line itself may be obscured by edema, opposing collateral ligament here. Effusion with fat fluid level, fat serum hematocrit, high. Energy injury may be multiple ligament injury. If markedly commuted fracture, I may be limited for evaluation of the relative orientation of bone fragment. I might slam for associated internal derangement. Then I saw an isolated lateral tibial impaction fracture with no associated vertical spin. This lateral impact fracture is classified as a, a sucker tie C injury. Then I saw a depressed lateral tibial plateau fracture. Am I so distortion by metal in the edge of fixator, but the U shaped fracture line is very thin. The articular surface of the major part of the Appear below the major locate location without lateral involvement may this structure type for fracture. Am um, I so a uh, coronal split extending to the articular surface and slight articular depress of the anterior? portion of the major plateau, the major split plus minus this uh, this this depression is tied for fracture.
treatment. Cool. Anatomic reduction and early mobilization. Depend on comorbidity may help for non-surgical therapy if your stasia less than 3 to 4 mm and depressed less than 4 to 5 mm. Immediate surgery for open fracture, neurovascular injury, compartment syndrome. If severe, commuted may initially use external fixation factor and uh, fixator and perform definitive internal fixation after swelling is used. Take home missing. 75 to 80 percent of tibial bottom fracture are lateral. Shutter classification generally one to three are low energy, four to six are high energy, non displaced tibial plateau fracture here with conservative treatment. If uncorrected depressed or more reduced fragment and untreated displaced fracture may intra meniscus. Thank you.